travel to Anaheim. Great. Are you gonna check in on Freya? Yes. Glad I get to come this time. So what happened the last time you were in Vanaheim? I still don't know how you got free. We to traveled stop to her to village to break Odin's spell. Once freed, she accepted that I was not her enemy. You also missed a highly entertaining moment where Brock was lifted ass over face in Freyr's camp. You met Freyr? What's he like? Different from his sister. Lacks her conviction. True. But he's a bit quicker to forget. And an ineffective leader. But his heart's in the right place. You'll like him, lad. Beautiful. And, uh, what? It is also dangerous. More dangerous than hell? What's this thing? Some kind of altar? I do not know. Freya's camp is to the right. No rush, is that? Not every day the lad gets to see a new realm. To Freya's camp, then. Time to see how the Vanir have fared in our absence. I hope Freya's okay. She can care for herself. We're still checking on her, though? Her brother's forces are outnumbered, and there is much I owe her. Reminds me of a Vanaheim song I heard long ago. the other half of the broken Moosbaheim seed we found. We can take it to a mystic gateway. Maybe we'll find Sutter's combat trials. everyone. Kratos, Atreus, a welcome reunion. Unexpected, but welcome. You know us? Can't be. Is that who I think? Oh, you shifty bastard. It's almost good to see you again. And for once in the shape of a man, or nearly. So that's how they got your head out of your ass. Maybe now you'll stop being such a half-blind, piss-drunk, oversexed liar. He was more of a pig than I ever was. I do not know you. Do you not recognize your handiwork? 
Hildis Vini. Remember when we first met Frey in the woods? After I... Oh. I am so, so sorry about that. Freya Spore. Her advisor and friend. Counselor to the Vanir. And yes, while exiled at Midgard, I was trapped in my boar form. And then you shot me. At my command. No. My arrow, my mistake. Forgotten. Vanaheim needs our help more than ever. Even Mimir's. Come. Just watch where you aim that bow of yours. My hide's not so thick in this form. We can head out whenever you're ready. Where are we going? I have a favor to ask. I'll explain on the way. Where is Freya? She came here to help her brother. She leads the search party for Freya and Big Fear. They've been captured by the Ainher Yard. Hey, that happened. An ambush. Their presence has intensified since your last visit. To make matters worse, the Celestial Wolves haven't been seen in days. Or at least I assume. Not easy, tracking time with no moon in the sky. No moon. Just like in their shrine. Their shrine? It's a long story. You want us to check on them? You have my gratitude. We're spread thin. And if anyone can help Skoll and Hati, he'd be a fellow giant. Very well. Freya mentioned you had a way past this. <laughs> Disappoint. Continue down this path and you'll find their dead. Good luck. And don't shoot any boars. <laughs> I think he's really forgiven me for shooting him. Trust me, lad. The old swine still carried a grudge. You'd know it. What happened between you two? The usual. Miscommunication, conflicting loyalties, broken promises. Nothing to concern yourself with. <laughs> I'm not concerned. I'm just curious. Curiosity's all well and good. But so is my huh? Okay, okay. Point taken. so different from the other realms. It's warm, like Svartalfheim, but 
There's a kind of thickness in the air. Hmm. Egros. Uh, what? Egros. Greek. For humid. Egros. I like it. By a knocking, perhaps. Doubtful. You know, lad, this excursion into Vanai means you've now visited each of the Nine Realms. Huh. Guess you're right. Not many mortals can claim such a feat. Not many gods either. Even your father has yet to grace the halls of Asgard. I'm in no hurry to do so. Hodesvini said both Frey and Bigvir were captured. Bigvir's the light elf who wanted to learn more about that library in Alfheim, right? Correct. An exiled scholar, married to a warrior, Balor. Why was he exiled? You'll have to ask him for the full tale. But I take it that he and Bela's quest to unite their people was frowned upon. Wait, Bela's a dark elf? Yes. Wow. Well, that raises even more questions. Hope he's okay. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
Amir, you once told us Ragnarok begins when Skull and Hati catch the sun and moon, right? I said it was foretold, lad. Prophecy. Which, after our time with the Norns, we've all had quite enough of. But Odin still believes. That's gotta be why the Einar stole the moon. He's still trying to avoid Ragnarok. Or he prepares for it. Fights a proxy war in this realm to distract his enemies. Yeah. Or that, I guess. I can sense them up there. It's gotta be their den. Excited to meet Skull and Hattie, lad. I mean, I've heard all your stories. It's gonna be weird meeting them in person. Legend meeting reality. At the very least, it shouldn't fail to entertain. They're sleeping. Well, there you have it. The legendary celestial wolves. Supremely entertaining, as promised. Remember their shrine? They didn't rejoin the sky until after the moon returned. And then chased an arrow across the sky. Right. Well, guess we go find the moon and put it back where it belongs, eh? As if that's a perfectly normal thing to say. The Aenar Yar played a part according to Skull and Hati's shrine. Managed to stuff the moon inside a box, if memory serves. But it didn't say where they took the box. Aye, that's the rub of using prophecy as a map, isn't it? Bit sparse There's on a the war details. camp in the nearby village. A strong fortress to guard their bounty. We will try there first. So besides Hildas Vini and the elves, who else is part of Freya's army? Not much army, really. Although Beer Girl was a soldier, once walking the path of a traveler. I imagine he's handy with that enormous broken sword of his. A traveler that doesn't want to kill us. That's nice. Sat for a night. 
There she is again. Guess they know we're coming. I can't believe no one's here. They hide. The Vanir aren't all hardened warriors like our dear Freya. Those who survive the warfare find it easier to hide in the jungle and use nature as their shield. I bring it down. We strike. Yeah. Uh. Empty. Where'd they all go? Wait, there's the moon. Uh, box? Down there. That's gotta be it. Definitely an ambush. Yes.
Hold on. Get up! There's the moon. Uh, box? Down there. That's gotta be it. That puts a dent in Odin's quarters, at least for the time being. I don't think Asgard's running out of soldiers anytime soon.
Ready to put the moon back where it belongs? Okay, yeah. That is a weird thing to say. Hey! Hurry! She's getting away! Uh. Come on! A double ambush? Okay, didn't see that coming. Careful, brother. You're covered in bifrost. She's gone again. Hurry, we gotta get across. Still up there. Another ambush? Really? Third time's the charm. They are not smart. I am the bad. You know, what we're doing right now, all of this, it's almost exactly how we saw it play out back in Skull and Hati Shrine. The wolves are back in Vanaheim. We're rescuing the moon. Yes. I remember the prophecy. So, doesn't it make you worried? Everything we're doing now happened in the Yonar Shrine. Remember our agreement. Prophecy will not dictate our actions. Yeah. Our allies need help. That is our focus now. Brother, we've taken a wrong turn. Our thief's gone skyward.
Oh, what is that? A wyvern, nasty beast. Careful, lad. Nasty hit. You all right, brother? Behind you, brother! this? It's from Helheim. Heimdall must have grabbed this while I freed Garm. Ugh. I was there, but I, I didn't know. And now you fight to undo the damage. Your guilt is misplaced. Yeah. No, you, you're right. We can return to the den through here. They will pursue. Keep your guard up. Father, how are you so sure we even have a choice about what we're doing? Doubt is a weakness we cannot afford. Who said anything about doubt? So far, we've done everything the giant said we would. We make our own choices. Nothing forces us. Walking straight into Ragnarok. Isn't there any way to avoid fate? Your fate? What if we can't stop you from. Would you turn your back on the wolves? On this realm? Remember our agreement.
lad does make some good points, though. As long as Atreus lives, so be it. There's nothing. like inside their shrine. If I do this... Fate only binds you if you let it. Do what is necessary. Not because it is written. Call them anytime we need them. Remember that altar we saw when we first got here? I think that's where we're supposed to use it. Perhaps Freya will know. So, in essence, they just gave us the keys of dusk till dawn. Not bad for a day's work. Head back to Hildas Feeney and tell him about all this. Yeah? Yes. Back to the cap. Look out! The upper! <laughs> Oh, 
One from earlier. They come back fast, but not that fast. In Asgard, what else did you see of Odin's army? Well, all these Anhariar we've been fighting, they've already died in battle once. We kill them here, and they'll just wake back up in Valhalla. They never truly die. Should it come to war, we do well to have our own endless army of dead soldiers. You mean Helheim's army, like the prophecy said? It will not come to that.
like the egros. So, we report back to Hildes Fini, then what? We came here to help Freya. We will not leave without rescuing her brother and the Light Elf. Okay, but Odin's not gonna stop searching for mask pieces. That is his concern, not ours. Sure, but if that mask offers all the answers... Then it will surely exact a price. Be wary of shortcuts to knowledge. Yes, father. Mm. All the plants who want to kill us? No, no. Only the Carnassus <laughs> ones.
Who's that? Ah, that wrinkly mug belongs to Helka. She's a blossinger. Pounds prized for her pinpoint accurate tracking abilities. You'll love her. Kratos, Atreus. That eclipse was your doing, I take it. Thank you for coming. Figvir used the diversion to escape. What about your brother? We know where they're holding him now. Bale has already prepped the explosives. If you're with me, we can leave as soon as you're ready. I could use another shapeshifter's help. Go with him, Atreus. I will aid Freya. Yes, sir. The fuse is but 30 heartbeats. That's enough. Once you see the signal, tone it down. Thanks for grabbing that for us. Nice work. seen any clips in Vanaheim before. Yeah, I just sort of had to when we freed the moon. I've seen a lot of weird things. <laughs> Think you're gonna be okay? His time with the Ainher Yard wasn't pleasant. But Lunda can patch people as well as armor. With some rest, he'll be fine. The others will distract the guards. You and I are on exfiltration. You won't get so much as a paper cut in that. Wait, feels like there was something else. The 
Rose gave us a scepter. They will answer, should we call on them. Good. There's a shortcut to Niord's temple we can use in daylight. The Einherjar are holding fair in your father's own temple. It's been empty for as long as I can remember. There's a celestial altar across the river. According to Bigvir, the altars were once used to signal the wolves. And now we have just the scepter to do it. What is your plan? When we reach the temple, I'll fire off the beacon. A signal for Vela and Birger to set off their distraction. The Dark Elf Hive. Nice to not be on the receiving end of it for once. With their attention drawn elsewhere, you and I can assault the main force from behind. While Atreus and Hildesvini slip in to rescue your brother in the confusion. Yes. Once we see their beacon, we'll regroup by the river and escape on Freyr's boat. Oh! 
Plan. I take it you have notes. This is a trap. I know, and I don't care. I'm getting my brother back. You're under no obligation to help me. I know. I take it you have notes. This is a trap. I know, and I don't care. I'm getting my brother back. You're under no obligation to help me. I know. <laughs> Enemy behind you, Kratos! <laughs> 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 Your plan. 
I take it you have notes. This is a trap. I know, and I don't care. I'm getting my brother back. You're under no obligation to help me. I know. Enemy behind you, Perfect! Careful, brother! You're covered in bifrost! <laughs> Nicely done. Bifrost from behind. <laughs> <laughs> behind you, brother. Plan. I take it you have notes. This is a trap. I know, and I don't care. I'm getting my brother back. You're under no obligation to help me. I know. Yeah! 
They've rallied more soldiers since our last visit. <laughs> our disadvantages are many. Try dragging the scepter across the bell a few times. Come on, we're making good time. realm followed the prophecy of the giants. Atreus believes Ragnarok is inevitable. The Norns were quite clear on the nature of prophecy. They told us the sum of our choices were predictable. But we have changed, haven't we? Perhaps.
you'd kill Heimdall, but you chose not to walk that path. Back when we first met, I doubt you'd have done the same. And you? Do you still seek Ragnarok? Odin has much to answer for. If Groa's prophecy is correct, perhaps my realm can finally know peace. Perhaps I can know peace. Forgive me for being a head on a belt, but haven't we all just established how prophecy is pure havers? <sighs> Gods, Mimir. What? The most annoying man alive. More up ahead. On your mark. Careful, brother. You're covered in my frost. Nasty hit. Go away, brother. More up ahead. On your mark. <laughs> Above them! Incoming Bifrost! <laughs> <laughs> Careful, brother! You're covered in Bifrost! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you 
Off your back! 